No, no, no. I want to buy it now. So women sizing 10.5, yeah. right? Yeah. 42 and a half. Cool. What's up you guys? I'm back. Back sooner than I thought I'd be. But then, you know, I had to pick up this pair of the Air Max 1 OG 86 big bubble. I went with my true size which is a US 9 of course, but interestingly, this pair comes in women's sizing. Therefore, I had to get a 10.5 which is a US 9 and thereby making it a UK 8. I'm out of breath just talking about the sizing, but like in the reimagines that you've seen with the Jordan Threes or even the Lost and Found Jordan Ones, you have this reworked box because the pair is supposed to be a throwback to 1986. So they try to give this box a worn-out kind of a finish. You have these four cutouts in the back right here, which you also find in the front of the box, and that replicates the air unit, which we will get to in a minute. The top of the box has the swoosh which is also cut out but you can see that all of these cutouts have a plastic film under it obviously i guess to keep the dust out lifting the lid open yeah you can see the plastic cutouts here and getting down to the pair man what a great time to be alive the air max 1 royal og 86 big bubble that's a mouthful That's what she said. And there you have it. Now, when the OG 86 Big Bubble came out last year in the University Red colorway, I really wanted to pick up a pair for myself, but I didn't partly because I already have the anniversary pair from I think this is 2017. I picked this up uh, in Vietnam from G Lab during one of my travels. And We now get to do a side by side comparison of both the pairs so you can see those subtle differences because a lot of my friends were like why did you pick up the same pair in a different color and I told them well a there's a story and I'll get to that in a bit and b these are the OG colorways right the royal and the university red without much further ado let's dive into it but before we do that if you're new to the channel make sure to hit subscribe I do content on sneakers and a bit of blogging here and there. I know I'm not consistent but encourage me give this video a thumbs up. Before we get into the comparisons, let's just quickly go through the sneaker in all its details. Starting off with the biggest call out which is this massive big air unit where you have those four cut outs. The upper is mesh on your toe box whereas the navy and these gray panels right here are all done in a felt kind of a finish on the back you have your nike air embroidered on and then a bit of a nylon hit right here your sock liner is done in this kind of a cotton finish now if you have a white sock liner i would recommend you wear white socks just so that you don't end up leaving lint on the sock liner flat white laces a fairly stuffed tongue with the Nike label done right there on the insole you have the same royal blue and white and that Nike air going out the outsole your typical Air Max 1 outsole in royal black and white and that about covers the pair now Nike didn't change over all of the Air Max 1 models to the big bubble this is like somewhat of an exclusive kind of a treatment and in 2023 of all the Air Max 1s that dropped probably about 6 or 7 models had the big bubble everything else was like the smaller air unit that we are used to so far the story be as a big bubble if you don't already know is that this is how the pair came out uh, back in 86 but for some reason the air unit didn't hold its structural integrity in much colder climates so the air unit was compromised it would end up cracking or bursting not an explosive burst but you know what i mean a lot of returns of the pairs and then they ended up uh changing over the air unit to what we are used to currently but now with technology and time dare i say tinker hatfield's greatest design has come back with a big bubble because now apparently they've tested it out and it can withstand all of those harsh 
temperatures one other thing to note is that they have stamped on my us sizing like you can see 10 and a half right here on the soft liner now let's see side by side how does this stack up against the air max one that we are used to generally most obvious point you know you don't realize how big the air unit or the bubble is until you hold them side by side like the older pair the og pair in red right here has three cutouts whereas the new one has four excuse the condition of the spare because it's a beater i've worn it through quite a few of my trips through malaysia and vietnam and all of that let's look at the heel you see there's differences in the booty as well in the way this red panel is versus on the royal blue pair also there seems to be like a height difference even these lines in the midsole are different going over to the toe box the red pair has a more tapered narrower finish whereas your big bubble has a more circled out rounder or broader toe box i personally am a big fan of this older silhouette uh, for no other reason except that when i fell in love with the air max this is what it looked like and all of my air max ones were in this shape so for me it's a big departure going on to the big bubble nonetheless it's a favorite silhouette of mine and the story and the way they put it together i'm still a fan because i had to get this in advance of air max day which is 26th of march speaking of air max day i picked this pair up at the good life space and they're doing an event on the 26th of march here in dubai i'm excited to go check it out because they said there'd be like some air max tees and tote bags to give out and here's a look of the outsoles side by side of the old versus the new i must point out that i swapped out the laces on the old pair it was white laces but uh, i threw in some sale ones just to give it that enhanced vintage look maybe up close you'll be able to see that these are not white these are actually sale laces that's white that's sale i did have the similar color blocked uh, atmos sneaker box print pair that too i picked up with the anniversary air max one back in vietnam but they only had a half size down so it was a 7.5 and i moved it after a couple of wears i mean true to size is the way to go with an air max one you can't really size down another thing to point out the midsole seems to be a different compound compared to the older version because the older version to me feels a lot more stiffer and a little more coarse in texture whereas on the big bubble it's a very very smooth texture and it feels a lot softer let me slip these on feet to show you what they look like and be right back Alrighty, on feet they look killer and I mean that's something I knew going into this purchase but yeah in terms of sizing true to size go with your usual US size again remember this is a women's sizing pair therefore go 1.5 up if you're a US 9 you get a 10.5 if you're a US 9.5 you get a US 11 but in terms of UK sizing nothing changes it's a UK 8 I got a UK 8 that's it for this big bubble on this big gloomy day in Dubai. There's supposed to be thunderstorms and all of that today as well. Or is that tomorrow? Either ways, you guys stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.